Heather Boyd Art here again and today I'm going to walk you through another page of my art journal. So I'm starting with a collage. This is my favorite way to start a page in my art journal and I just cut a picture of a dog out of a magazine. I thought he was really cute but I wanted to change him up so I cut him into slices and just spread the pieces open at sort of random intervals and you'll see at the end he sort of ends up looking a bit like a sheep. It's kind of fun and then I just I'm going with the flow. I'm just drawing you know lines and then I saw what looked like a duck in that uh, image in the in the lines and so I just went with it started doing some shading did some feathers in the wing little eye little beak and just with a really soft pencil uh, actually it's not too soft it was about a, a 2b or something I'm going in and doing some shading and then some more lines just going with it I love lines I just love kind of following the rhythm of the lines and then jumping from one area to another filling it in a little bit doing a little bit of shading when I shade I like to hold the pencil on its side a little bit to get uh, a, a wider surface and then I'm just adding a little bit of color a little bit of pink this is what looks it looks like a little another little bird in there I found another little bird in my picture so I went in and did some more color to bring it out a little bit when you rub color pencil over graphite, it's a beautiful effect. It kind of blends everything in together and it's nice to have sort of a base with a little bit of graphite, a little bit of pattern. And then I just randomly started drawing some lines. Almost looks like a cross section of uh, wood or a log or something. But you'll see later uh, that that little area went nowhere and I actually end up erasing it and covering it over. But sometimes you just don't know until you try and you could do something and in your mind you think it might look good but then it turns out it didn't really fit with the piece. And you can already see that right now it doesn't really fit. So now I cut a, a piece out of a magazine. I think this is like some little grapes or something now it's shiny I can't really see what it is but uh, flowers or grapes or something I think it was grapes that's what it is so I got that out of a food magazine there's some great images in those food and drink magazines they're fantastic for collage and the paper is really good quality so I just went with the colors I chose the colors that were in the magazine page and started doing some blending blending of colors just putting different colors around just trying to match up the colors to best I could just to make it cohesive I tried not to use too much variety of colors and then I also did like little circles to kind of replicate the shape of the grapes in the uh, in the magazine page so I was just doing some little circles little shapes and again you're going to see I'm actually going to peel back that magazine page because I don't <laughs> I ended up not liking it so you'll see later I'm actually going to take it off but for now it was working for me and then I wanted to put water but I didn't want to put the whole slap of water down on the page because it would look like too much it would look really fake so I wanted to use the water texture but uh, create my own kind of lines and pieces and textures so I just cut it with the scissors into little pieces rather than putting down that whole splash of water I'm creating my own little splashes with little pieces of magazine page and you could have almost used any color I didn't even have to use water but it's interesting because it's a photo of water but I'm creating my own kind of water texture from it it looks like sort of a little splash they could also look like little mountains there's there's so much you can do with collage that um, makes it so so interesting so I'm just going oh you see I just ripped off that magazine page because I didn't like it and then it actually made a really interesting texture it left a little bit of residue from the back of the magazine page and I'm going on it with colored pencil and shading it a little bit and uh, actually my daughter Mimi said oh wow it looks like the earth 
so it does kind of look like a like the earth um, which was unintentional but that's what you call one of those happy accidents where you just uh, come up with something unintentionally and it looks cool so that that works better because I found that big blob of magazine page was too much it was like really in your face it didn't really work so that was a good uh, a good solution to remove the magazine and then just go with it so now I'm just filling in the empty areas with some lines just going with it and then I found I had a little extra piece there so I actually had to pull that little bit off so I can make a straight line across the nose there so I pulled that back a little bit adding another magazine page that was like from a little village a scene maybe in Greece or something uh, Italy possibly probably Italy because it was probably like a wine country or something so I just put the whole piece of that uh, cityscape there because it would had enough fine detail that it looked okay oh and you see I just erased that little gobby thing on his nose because it wasn't working for me at all so I just erased that and as you're gonna see I'm gonna actually cover it up with collage so now what you're seeing here is I actually used tracing paper now that was the idea of my friend Patricia Swrigley. We were actually doing a Zoom call while working on our art journals together. And I was saying to her, I was having trouble fitting in the right shape of a magazine page onto what was already on my paper. So she suggested to use tracing paper. So you trace out this, this, the space that you need filled on your page and then you pick up that piece of tracing paper and place it on a magazine page and then cut through the two layers and that makes a perfect little shape that fits exactly on what you want to do on your page so that's a great tip and now for the sky I took pieces of sky again like I did for the water but rather than cut them I tore them into little pieces and I'm gluing down the little torn pieces now ripping the paper gives such a lovely lovely technique like a lovely texture so I highly recommend to try that sometime rather than cu cutting and here I'm actually coloring in a white paper with the blue to add to the sky partly because I didn't have enough blue sky but also partly I wanted to give it some variety so I glued down those papers that were colored and now I'm going in with the same color pencil and just coloring in some of my empty space at the right side that um, to replicate the sky as well so I'm just going in with the color it's like a nice turquoise blue color just going in gently softly blending the colors together and going in with yellow as well to brighten it up a little bit now I'm back into the earth shape and then going in with my pencil and drawing more shapes so little round shapes to replicate what was the grapes which aren't there anymore and just just drawing in some little textures and patterns it just makes it look a little more interesting um, if you have a little bit of drawn detail and then I go in with my eraser to soften things up I didn't like that other little bird in his nose so I actually literally erased it no more bird there it's gone so now it's just it's just like a soft color for the end of his nose and and then it doesn't take away from the larger bird they were kind of fighting together those two and so the big bird won and uh, he's staying in place and the little bird just kind of blended into his nose and that's it the finished picture thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video